have already shown you in a previous video how to create characteristics in the BW modeling tools in Eclipse. As the modeling tools can be used to create the other info object types as well, I now want to show you how to create a key figure. I am in the BW modeling tools. In the context menu for my BW project, I choose New Info Object. I am now guided through the creation process by a wizard. First, I select an info area. I choose key figure as the info object type. As key figure type, I choose quantity field. I choose finish and the editor opens where I can define my key figure. I can change the key figure type and the data type. As data type, I can choose either decimal numbers or floating point numbers. Several properties allow me to use this key figure for special purposes. I can choose high precision. If I select attribute only, the key figure that is created can only be used as an attribute for another characteristic. If I select stock coverage, I get a special key figure which calculates in a query how long the available quantity of a given stock value will cover the planned or expected demand for. If I choose non-cumulative, the key figure becomes a non-cumulative key figure for which I get an extra tab page where all the details are maintained. I can specify two key figures that represent the inflow and outflow of a non-cumulative value. Or I can enter a key figure that represents the non-cumulative change of the non-cumulative value. For my key figure, I don't need any special properties. I select an aggregation type. It depends on the data type and on the properties which aggregation types are available. I enter a fixed unit of measure. I have made all the necessary entries, so now I save and activate my new key figure. This key figure can now be used in an info provider. I hope that I gave you a good overview of how to create a key figure using the BW modeling tools. Now it's your turn to try it out.